What's going on everybody? So in today's video we will learn how to create a simple Pokédex in React using just the React Pokédex API. Now this is what the final product will look like right here. We have this uh, search bar where we can search up any Pokémon. I only know about two so I'll pick uh, Chu. And now we get Pikachu's image, his type, weight, height, and the number of battles that he's been in according to the API. And uh, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new React app. And to do that, I'll do npx create React app. And I'll give the name of Pokédex. And I'll let it work its magic. Alright, so now it's done installing. And I'm going to cd into the directory. And the first thing I'll do is npm i axios. And once that is done, oh, at the same time, I'll also start up the app. So npm start and let's go into pokedex and open up the source folder and open up app.js all right so here's our app i'm going to minimize it and let's minimize my terminal as well we no longer need that and i'll get rid of this logo import i'll clean out all this stuff right in here and let's convert this into es6 syntax so we'll do const app is equal to arrow function there we go and let's do an h1 that says hello and I'll also import Axios from Axios. There we go. And now it's just hello, and we also imported Axios. Cool. Now I will create my three use state variables that we will need. So I will do const. First one's gonna be Pokemon. Set Pokemon is equal to use state. And I'll just do Pikachu initially, const Pokemon data, set Pokemon data is equal to use state. And I'll just do an empty array block. And the last one, const was Pokemon type, and set Pokemon type. And that'll be equal to a use state of an empty string. All right, now let's go ahead and grab the data from our Pokédex API. And uh, the link to that API is in the description below. I highly suggest you guys check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty well documented and I like it. So I'll do const get Pokemon is equal to async arrow function. And I'll do const to array is equal to an empty array. I try catch block console.log e if there's an error. And I'll do const URL is equal to, I'll just copy and paste what I have. So I'll get rid of these back ticks. So it goes back ticks, HTTPS double colon, oops, HTTPS colon double slash pokeapi.co slash API volume two Pokemon. And then right here we have this right here, our variable Pokemon. So this is what is going to be responsible for gathering a individual a Pokemon that we search for. And now what I'll do is const res is equal to a weight axios.get URL. And let's just do console.log res. And for the time being, I will do use effect. I'll add an empty array bracket. Whoops, not there inside of here and I'll just call the function get Pokemon just so we can see what kind of data we actually get back oh, whoops fix that there we go and now let's go into our app go into inspect and let's see what kind of data we get back we should see Pikachu there we go Pikachu so we have data and we have his abilities experience, forms, height, ID, all the good stuff that we need to make our application work. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my app and I'll get rid of the use effect. We don't need that currently. And I'll replace this hello with a form tag. And inside of there, I'll create a on submit is equal to handle submit. We also create that function. Don't worry about that right now. So we'll create a label with an input inside of there that's type is equal to text 
on change we'll do handle change placeholder is equal to enter Pokemon name and let's see what that looks like it'll probably give us some errors yeah okay we should define that right now all right so to define that I'll create two functions underneath my get Pokemon function so the const handle change is equal to e arrow function curly braces set Pokemon e dot target dot value dot two lower case now I'll explain why I'm doing two lower case uh, when I actually demonstrate the API or when I demonstrate the project working so const handle submit is equal to e arrow function curly brace e dot prevent default so it doesn't refresh the page and we'll call the function get Pokemon all right now it should work there we go so the reason I wanted to do the two lowercase is because if we put in Charmander Charmander with a capital C it won't work so the lowercase will automatically no matter what is inputted here this capital letters make it lowercase all right so now let's go back and set our use effects uh, sorry use states to the data that we want so the first one that we'll do is to array dot push res dot data and the next one I'll do set Pokemon type res dot data dot types zero with index dot type dot name so this is just going to grab our type for the Pokemon so if Pikachu I'm pretty sure is an electric type it'll give us the answer of electric I think Charmander is fire and so on and so forth and the last one we have to set the actual data so I'll do set Pokemon data to be to array whoops I forgot to add a data at the end of right here and now let's go ahead and loop over our Pokemon data so inside of the return statement underneath the form I will do curly brace Pokemon data dot map data arrow function curly brace return all right, so now let's make our table that will hold all of the data for our Pokemon. So I'll do div, close and brace div, give it a class name of container. So there I'll do an image tag, then I'll do another div. I wish it would self-close automatically, but it doesn't. So I'll give it a class name equal to div table. Next one, I'll do div. You know what? Hold on. Let me just copy this line so we don't have to keep making it. So class name is equal to div table body. Underneath that, I'll do go inside of the div. So class name is equal to div table row. And instead of here, I'll do a div, whoops, div, give it a class name of div table cell. I'll copy this, paste it again, and I'll do type. And then for this one, it was Pokemon type. And now I'll just copy this entire row. Let's copy it one. Whoops. So we have two rows, three, four. I think that should be enough. And I'll change this to height. And this will be open quotes. Math dot round whoops math dot round data dot height times three point nine for the inches because for some reason the actual API comes in um hex of meters or something. Alright, before we continue, I'm just gonna make sure that it does work, so I'll save it and I'll go into the app. I'll refresh the page and let's search up Pikachu. 
there we go so we have type electric height 16 inches type electric type electric all right cool so now let's go back into whoops let's go back into the app and this one I'll do weight and I'll just add that a curly brace math dot round data dot weight divided by 4.3 pounds so for some reason these are this is I don't know why the actual API the height is in like decameters or something and the weight is something weird it's not it's not pounds or kilograms something weird um, I can't remember what the top I can't remember it off the top of my head but next one number of battles and data dot game underscore into indices dot length and I'll save that now let's see how it looks so search up Charmander cool so we got fire height 20 pounds and number of battles uh, height of 23 inches there we go all right last thing is we need to get the image of the Pokemon so inside of the image tag I will do source is equal to curly brace data dot sprites array brackets quotes front underscore default and that should work now let's search up Pikachu and we have his image cool now let's go ahead and edit the CSS to make this look a lot better and I'll minimize the terminal as well all right so I'm gonna open up my app.css file right here and I will get rid of literally everything except for the class name app text align center and I'll do the first one div table display table max width 20 em float right display flex align items center next one I'll do div table row and I'll do display table row next one I'll do div table heading for that I'll do background color hashtag EEE -E -E, display table header group and the next one I'll target both div table cell and div table head for that I'll do border one pixel solid hashtag nine 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 oh wow I did zero 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 wow okay I wasn't even looking at that nine 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 there okay and whoops let's go back into there display table cell and padding three pixels by ten pixels alrighty next up is gonna be our div table heading oh, you know this is work inside of the div table heading we already made so right inside of here I'll do background color is already there so font weight bold and underneath all this I'll do div table foot background color hashtag EEE -E -E, display table footer group font weight to be bold and let's save it and see what it looks like so far so Pikachu that looks like nothing nice okay all right next up we will do div table body display oops display table header oops not header group I meant row group and underneath that we'll target every nth child so I'll do div table cell nth child 1n background color we'll do gains borrow 
and I'll do container display flex opacity 0 0.9 background color hashtag 99aaab justify content center all right please work there we go that is there we go now it looks okay it's interesting it's very very interesting I'll uh, see you know what I messed up on was the HTML so right here add this div right next to this div but it should in reality be right underneath here all right now let's try Pikachu there we go now the table looks a lot better image is fine let's edit the input image and let's add a background and that'll be it all right so I'm gonna go back into my app.css at the very bottom I will target all of my images since there's only gonna be one height 16 em and now the input I'll do box sizing border box font size I'll do 2 rem padding 1 rem display to be block margin 2 e 2 rem auto and at the bottom of that I'll, underneath that I'll do body background image URL and I'll make quotes and for this image it's in the description below so you can just copy that link but I'll just copy from my script right here there we go and underneath that I'll do background background size and I'll do 150 percent and now let's see how it looks Wow that looks so much better all right so I looked up some names for some uh, Pokemon and uh, let's see if it actually does work so ditto he's just a he's just a normal boy what about uh, Squirtle cool and as you can see this is properly working I'm trying to find the one oh, muck right that one cool so that covers this tutorial I hope y'all enjoyed it and if it helped you out be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one